Hey guys, welcome back to Life of Bliss. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kyle. Uh, I figure there's going to be some new faces since this isn't the normal type of video that I do. Um, but uh, here's my babbling daughter Blake right now out here with us. And my son Talon. Say hi. Hi. Alright, so like I said, this isn't the normal type of content that I do, but um, I wanted to show you. We ended up buying a 20 foot by 8.5 foot enclosed trailer from a friend of mine. We're going to be moving here soon, and uh, instead of renting a Penske truck or having someone move us, I figured we would just buy a trailer because we really need one anyways with some of the larger items um, that we're going to be moving. We wouldn't be able to use one of the Penske trucks with the ramps on it. just wasn't going to be uh, feasible. I've got a big motorcycle, big lawnmower over there. so. You know, a couple of larger items where a, uh, a ramp, like the whole back deck coming down, would be useful. So we end up getting this trailer at a super good price. There is some, uh, I don't know, some, some rough spots in there that I'm going to be showing you that I'll be repairing. And um, that's part of the reason that I got it for a super good price. So let's go ahead and I'll show you inside and show you what I'll be doing. So looking inside here, you can see it's not the best condition. There's some trim pieces missing, things like that. Um, there was a little bit of a leak coming through in the ceiling right here. There's another leak. Oh, where was it? This has been sealed up for the most part right here. A little bit of daylight coming through, you can see on my hand. So a uh, couple little things to fix. There's a, another leak that we've seen right up here. but. We know where it's coming from. I'm gonna go ahead and patch those up, fill it up with some silicone. But one of the main things we're gonna be doing is replacing the flooring. I've already got some treated plywood here, uh, three quarter inch treated plywood that we're gonna be pulling all this stuff up and replacing. I mean, this is just all rotted from water that was leaking through. And um, the boards were starting to uh, curl up on the edges along that back piece there. So I figured I would just go ahead and replace all of the flooring. About $250 for all the wood right now. It's kind of expensive, but uh, you know that's just the way the prices are going right now. And then after I do all of the flooring, the plan is to come back and lay some E-Track down on the floor, as well as a couple spots along the walls on either side, so we'll have plenty of tie-down spots. But today I'm just going to be focusing on getting some of these panels up on the floor to see what all needs to be done to replace them, so let's get started on that. So that didn't go as well as planned. Um, a lot of these screws are still in there. They're stripped out. They're just some self-tapping metal screws. Oh, there you go, like that. So some of these are coming up. A lot of them are staying in. We'll see if we can't just get it up with a crowbar and uh, see if we can replace it. Right? Yeah, I hold the screws. All right, you hold on to the screws for me. <laughs> So I have the first board out. I think the problem was is all those self-tapping screws were stripping out here in the metal um, wherever they were attached. So they weren't coming out real easily. Um, I think the plan from here, instead of trying to save all of that trim, that's just some one by three going across the bottom, or excuse me, some like eighth inch little trim. I mean, look at how thin this stuff is. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about replacing it or trying to save it along the bottom. I'm gonna get some one by three boards and make it a little bit thicker. And then whenever I cut the plywood to go across here, I'm just gonna make it like, I don't know, a quarter of an inch or close to a half an inch of space on either side. There's gonna be enough to catch that lip there on the metal, but then the one by three should cover that gap up on the very end. So that's gonna be the plan from here on out. See if I can't get the rest of these boards up and get these screws to come up out of the sheet metal. Hey! 
That's why she she was good at the balance beam at Lee Summit. Yeah. <laughs> So that was a little harder than expected. Um, I don't know how much you saw last night before the video ran out, the battery ran out, but um, essentially had my neighbor come over and uh, help me take the rest of these out. We took a circular saw, cut everything into smaller pieces and just started trying to break the nails up with the crowbar and get everything out that way. Um, a little bit messier of a job, but we'll go ahead and get everything cleaned up this morning. I'm gonna start at the front of the trailer cut that, uh, that angle piece or that, uh, that rounded piece up front and then work my way back replacing the wood and hopefully the next two mornings before work we'll have a new floor on the trailer. So the first piece is in, got everything marked off for the braces going across with a marker. I'm going to come back and make some chalk lines across here, but probably just go ahead and secure everything along the edges and probably along this back piece for now just to get it in there. And then we'll come back and secure everything in the middle. Along the front here, there's this aluminum piece that will be covering the front edge. So I just sat that there to make sure I didn't go right where these screw holes would be. And to put these in, I'm using some Tex wood metal screws. It's going in pretty easy. I was trying the regular drill at first. It wasn't working as great as my impact drill. So went ahead, switched to that, going in smooth. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of these cut and get them in the trailer. Good morning guys it's a little bit chilly out this morning about 32 degrees but we got a good head start on everything came back and put a chalk line where all of the braces were going across the trailer got all of the plywood secured down there's about 20 screws in each piece of plywood and a little bit of a teaser coming up I've got some e-track that I'm gonna be laying down and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna be screwing right where that e-track is going so laid it out while I was screwing things down um, the next step from here is to get some trim put up along the bottom and instead of doing this eighth inch little flimsy stuff, I cut these boards a little short so there is a little bit more of a gap in some places. So I went ahead and just grabbed some 1x3 which is the same height but uh, obviously a little bit thicker. That's going to cover up that gap nicely for me so I'll get this 1x3 down, get the diamond plate um, trim down along there and around the doors and then the flooring should be completely done. There we go guys, all of the flooring is in, all the trim is back on. I put all the aluminum trim pieces back where they need to go, the diamond plate, everything went on pretty smooth. Uh, this trim piece up front, it had a pretty decent bend to it. I had to put a ton of screws in there to hold it in, but it'll hold up just fine. So the floor is super solid now, should have plenty of years of use out of this without having any issues. 
Um, in the next video, I'm going to be laying down this E-Track. I've actually got about 96 foot of it total. I'm going to be running a couple strips on the floor, a couple strips on the wall, and there's some trim pieces missing on the wall, things like that. Um, I should be able to get those fixed with the stuff that I took off the floor, um, but I'm going to have to cut these anyways to get this E-Track on. So that will be for next video. Uh, I'm going to do a few other things, put some lights in here, replace all the seals. So just kind of giving it a good freshen up. But look at how nice that floor looks now. Hey, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hopefully this helped you out if you have any repairs to do on your trailer flooring. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're into this sort of content. I've got some more videos on the trailer coming up. Got some more home theater content and obviously we've got the move coming up. So um, be sure to check all that stuff out. I appreciate you guys watching Life of Bliss and I will see you soon.